to get them the right notes out, and it was it was tough. But uh, if they hadn't been so many and that crazy there, the audience, it would have been a hard time for me. Because just prior to that, of course, you played with Metallica in Copenhagen, yeah. and uh, was that like a, a really good lifetime ambition for you to play with Metallica? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, it was great. And then in Denmark, you know, in front of a home audience and. Uh, even though we played at uh, four in the afternoon, broad daylight and everything, it's great. Everybody was like, kind of like the Dynamo. It was just <laughs> there was thirty thousand there. Do you find it? Do you find it um, at all ironic that a band like Metallica, one of many bands influenced by you, are now that much higher above you, and that you've come back kind of supporting them? Is that kind of ironic? How do you see it? Uh, not really. You know, it's like you know they've they've been going at it all the time. Merciful Fate stopped at a certain point, you know, where we might have taken it further as well. We don't know that. And uh, I don't even want to look back and say, oh, I'm so sorry, maybe we could have done that. You know, there's no regrets. We, we did what we did and we couldn't go on because there was different opinions in the musical style between Hank Sherman and me. Mm -hmm. And uh, now he's, he's back in his heaviest style ever. And uh, it's like we've discussed a lot of things before we even started this whole project with Merciful Fate again. And, uh, mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that King Diamond's not going to continue because we are. We already have the next album written. We're just looking for a deal in America right now. So, uh, but we're going to give 100% for Merciful Fate, and there's going to be more albums for Merciful Fate too. So uh, we're going to go 100% tour as much as we can for this album. Whenever we can't tour anymore, this new album, then uh, it's time for King Diamond to go in the studio and do one. So the new album is called Into the Shadows, and it's out a little bit later this month. Very quickly, preview of that album. It's very genuine Merciful Faith, there's no doubt. When you hear it, you'll be taken back to almost 85 style-wise. The sound is definitely updated, much better production and all this, but uh, it's Merciful Faith the whole way through, there's no doubt about it. And I think all the members have really, have learned a lot from being away from the band and doing different things. They've got way better skill now. I can hear that on the album, they're playing much better. So they, right. Hank has been involved in some AOR kind of poppy version, you know, of stuff. A band and uh, it's, it's done him some good obviously oh, so yeah. it's 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 good we feel really good about it now okay. and you're based in los angeles now aren't you uh, dallas texas and you're happy about being over in the state actually yeah I, it's, it's very nice there i used to live in la at a time but it was <laughs> not quite my scene all right then king diamond thank you very much for talking to us i'm going to let you go off and enjoy the rest of the metallica gig you can hear it there in the background behind us we're going to have another short break right now and then after that we'll be back talking to megadeth so stay tuned thanks king diamond